Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of People Playground. And yes, we have a new update here. You can see that we have many new items. Now, ignore the whole fact that there's a body over here because I was testing one of the new items. It's a staff. I haven't quite figured this one out. Uh, we'll cover this one here in a second. But the other new items, there's some amazing stuff in here. Check this out. We have a chainsaw. Yes, it does work. We have a defibrillator, which I actually really, really have wanted one of these for a while. And now we have it. We have a landmine, which that one's pretty self-explanatory. We have a signal flare, which we can light this up. Uh, I'm pretty sure this lights stuff on fire. And then we have detached cannons here. One's a laser cannon and one's basically a tank cannon. And these are incredible. So we're going to be covering this new update here today. If you guys are excited for some more people playground, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And you know we're about to test this chainsaw. Okay, so we got our little guy here. Hold on, let's just test this out real quick. So let's go. Uh, oh boy. And, uh, oh, oh, geez. Okay, that thing works really good. Okay, yep. Chainsaw might be my new favorite thing. Hold on, let's go for the head. Yep. Oh. Ooh, I think he just landed on the landmine. Oh, and we can use the defibrillator, right? No, we're not using the defibrillator. Wait, are we about to catch him on fire? We just caught him on fire. It's like we just used all the new tools, like, almost in one go here. Like, we used the chainsaw, the landmine went off, and we used the torch to light them on fire. That's a thing. So, can they handle holding the chainsaw? Like, please tell me they can. Uh, that would be amazing. Here we go, buddy. I'm gonna stick this in your hand. You can hold this, but can you actually handle it? Oh boy, okay, turn it on real quick. Oh wait, why is he on fire? Wait, why is everything catching on fire over here? The signal flare, oh Okay, I might need to reset everything. This has gone horribly wrong, which that means it's a good episode here All right, so I've cleared everything out. Uh, that was actually kind of funny uh, I didn't expect us to be able to use everything at once, but we're gonna grab a character here Let's grab a uh, Jason Voorhees even though typically doesn't use a chainsaw, I, I don't have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre dude, so we're going to be using Jason, and we're going to see if they can actually use the chainsaw. Okay, so we have the chainsaw in his hand. I might have to actually get him to try to use the other hand to maybe support it. Let's try that real quick. Okay, so he's potentially holding it with both hands now. So yeah, he's got that. You got to hold this up, buddy, for this to work right. Here, let's go ahead and put you back here. Why do I have a feeling he's gonna kill himself with this? All right, so, wait. You gotta hold it down. So when I try to activate it, he doesn't hold it wide open. Let's see what happens here. We might be able to make him aggressive. Maybe I'll have to use the AI mod, but start walking with this. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy, yep, he's not using it quite right. Um, we might have to just make some machines with this. Uh, come on. Come on, hold it wide open. Nope, he's just going to drop it here. All right, so yeah, we're going to have to do something with this. He's just kicking him in the shin right now. Oh, and let's uh, do this. And okay, that thing's way too satisfying to use. And yes, it does uh, dismember the uh, the ragdolls here. All right, well, let me turn on the AI mod here. And then we'll see if we can get them to use this by themselves. All right, so he's got a hold of it here. The question is, will he use it? Uh, I'm not really sure. Now, the AI mod seems to have changed a little bit. Let's see if I can get him to be aggressive. Alright, you guys still afraid of weapons? Like, if I, if I pull this out? Huh? No? Uh-oh, something might be broken here. Alright, there we go. So, the AI is still active. So, I need you to go berserk. So, go berserk. Huh? Oh, they're attacking each other. Okay! So, he's not actually revving the chainsaw, he's acting more like it, obviously it's a melee weapon, so they don't typically activate those, so, I don't, I don't know. It'd be nice, can I just turn this on? Like, I can activate it, but you need to hold it down in order to keep it active. So, right now, the AI is not going to really be able to use the chainsaw, at least not right, I mean, they're still beating the snot out of each other. I think he just hit himself in the face, by the way. This might be the perfect, whoa, what the heck? What was that? Wait, where did he... What the... 
I don't think I've ever seen him pull off that move. That was sweet. All right, well, this might be the perfect time to use another thing. This guy, he's not in very good shape right now. Let's get the heart monitor out. Okay, we got to hook you up, buddy. Okay, all right, what's your pulse like? Okay, he's still alive. Uh, We're going to have to use a death syringe or something. I need to knock you out. All right, buddy. Oh, he's getting up. No, 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 no. Hold still. Hold, hold still. Hold still. I know this isn't, this isn't great. There we go. Death syringe. Okay, so he's flatlined right now. So, hold on. Let's move him into a position to where we can use the defibrillator. So, let's put this like this. Okay, he needs to lay, lay flat, buddy. All right, we're going to save you. Why did I hear the chainsaw? Oh. Oh, the guy's still standing there with the chainsaw. That's actually kind of creepy. All right, defibs are coming out, so we got to place one paddle against his chest. So let's go like that. Oh, uh, maybe I need to clear it myself. Okay, here we go. Clear. Uh, waiting for it. Stand by. Here it goes. Clear. It worked. Oh, he's still dying. Hold on. Let's go clear. Come on. You're gonna make it. Here, let's let's do both sides of the paddle. Don't do one on his face. Oh boy. Oh, we're gonna lose him here. It might be the whole fact that he's infected with the death syringe that he keeps re-dying. If that's even... That's not even a word, but... Yeah, he keeps dying over and over again, but it's working. Then he gets that jump, and then he dies again. Okay, we probably need to do this with another dead person. Uh, you want to do the honors? Okay, Jason, I need you to take care of this guy behind you. We need a guy just to die. Do I need to do this? Maybe I can do this. I can probably control Jason here. Uh, let's see... Control human. Uh, I need it. I need you to turn. Hey, don't you do that to me. Hold on. Huh. Huh. There we go. This is totally working with the chainsaw. You know what? Actually, I can't dismember this person because I got to have like a whole person. So let's just hit him in the head. There we go. Is he good? All right. He's definitely dead. Okay. So we can bring this one back. So this doesn't heal wounds. So we got to keep that in mind. Hold on. Let's shut off that. Let's grab this. Uh, Jason, you're, you're fine. Okay. Here we go. Let's try to defib this person. We need to hook up the heart rate monitor again. That way uh, we can ensure that this is working. Even though I'm pretty sure this one's going to die again because of the wound. Okay, this one is flat. Jason, get the heck out of here. I, I don't have time for this. Here, just go. All right, so let's try to save him. Stand by. Oh, something just flew by. Dude, it worked. It cleared him for a second. Okay, we need to bandage him. Oh, geez, his head's not supposed to be like that. Uh, can we get some bandages or something in here? We really need to save this person. Let's use a, maybe a syringe. I need to stop bleeding. So there's a coagulation one here. All right, let's go coagulation. Oh, come on. Come on. You're going to make it. And let's go. Ah. Come on. This feels like the first time we're legit trying to actually save one. There we go. I know that was a little rough there on the, uh, the stabby part. So all right, let's stick this on here. I like this. I mean, you're obviously seeing it is working, but I think there's some parameters that have got to be met in order for this to uh, bring the victim back completely. All right, Claire. Claire. Yeah, I think we're going to have to uh, pronounce this one dead. But obviously, that's a really cool toy. What, should I call this a toy? This is probably not a toy. This is a defibrillator. Oh, boy. All right, well, rest in pickles. Uh, We need a proper send-off for him. So I would totally be down for somebody doing this at my funeral. So this is going to be a bunch of landmines. And we're going to stick him on a jump pad and we're going to fling him into the landmines because that just seems like a proper send off for this game, does it not? All right, so let's put our little jump pad over here. All right, buddies, turn that off. Uh, you, you definitely have died. All right, so we're going to lift our dude over here. Stick him on this. All right, here we go. Let's do some slow mo. Three, two, one, click. Whee! Uh oh. He might go over these. This is fine. On. Oh, he's going to hit one. And. Whee! Landmines! That was cool! Alright, full speed! That was a proper send off. Can we get an F in the chat, please? Oh. Yep, that worked. Nice. Okay, so I have a lot of questions about this update. And there's a particular item here. I don't know what this is. This is probably referring something. So, this is Durstappen something. I don't know. It makes a weird noise when we spawn it. Listen. Okay. So it's a staff. So what, what's the staff do? Does does the staff... Does it does it scare people? Is it just to hit somebody in the head? Can I... Wait. Can I grant you magical powers? Huh? Do you feel magical? 
you, you feeling magical there, buddy? Anything? Let's go. Huh. Huh. I think it's just a staff to hit people with. Like, it doesn't seem to be doing anything to them. Wait, is this in sharp? Oh, let's go. Huh. <gasps> what? Wait, what's happening here? Okay, that was... That was something. So, this is a, a pointy staff, so I can... Huh? Oh, that didn't work. Hold on, I need to plant the flag. Here, here. No, 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 don't. You're not running away. Okay. Hold down there. There we go. All right, and... Oh, okay, that was not a good enough hit. All right, let's try this again. I need to grab this while I'm midair. Oh, 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 stay down. And... Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that worked. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. Somebody's probably going to get the reference or what exactly this thing is. Yeah, just let me know. Uh... It plays a little jingle, which I kind of like that, but yeah, it's a staff. It kind of pokes in people, too. Yeah. Huh. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so something really neat that's been added. These are these detached cannons. So you do have a laser cannon, and you have a 120-millimeter cannon. So check out the power here. Boom. This is really cool. Also, this thing, if you leave it loose, hold on, let's stick a person on the backside. I'm gonna do this in slow-mo here. So I'm gonna fire this. It's gonna obliterate the person on the right, which he looks terrified. And then this thing's loose and it's gonna fling itself this way. You could totally make a cannon-powered, like, vehicle. All right, here we go. Boom! <laughs> uh, let's move it up a bit. And let's go. Boom! Oh, oh I gotta do it once. Well, not. Hold. Do it again. Uh, yep, kinda crushed his foot there. What kind of damage does this actually do? Hold on, let's go slow-mo. And... Oh! Wow, that made a hole right through the person. Okay, so that's that one. You could totally hook these together and hook them to some sort of mechanism. Hold on, let's go laser cannon. So, what's this one? Is it a solid... Oh, it's a solid laser shot. Ho, 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 ho. So, can we put a generator on these? Would that do anything to these weapons potentially it would uh, let's just do it what it looks like uh, by default here comes the laser one boom oh the laser one is devastating oh blew his arm off okay so let's go full speed here let's get out our old trusty industrial generator because i mean why not all right pop this up here and we might want to freeze this one to the ground because this is probably gonna get messy let's do a conducting wire to here and a conducting wire to here uh, is that actually connected? I think it is. Nope, that is not connected. Actually, uh, yeah, let's do that again. It's connected to the the, uh, the ground here, so let's go ahead and backspace that. So, we are, we're ready to go here. We can grab this. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Does that give it a more powerful shot? What about this one? Oh, I don't know if that's really doing anything additional or not. I mean, we kind of saw the hole it made in the person to begin with. So let's put this person here. Let's go slow-mo. He's already running and uh, it feels like that was a better shot, but I could be wrong. Oh, they're electrified and stuff's flying. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's several different ways you can hook these up to uh, different mechanisms. Uh, maybe have something where it repeats itself. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. And you can just mount them onto your vehicles. I mean, imagine how many artillery cannons we're gonna start seeing with these. That's pretty cool. And you can probably stack them and maybe make them all activate at once, too. Oh, yes. I love that they've added these things. Like, this makes the game even better, even though it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. I don't know what that says about me as a person, though. So there's a couple things I do want to do real quick. Let's get a vehicle here. I'm curious about these landmines and kind of the power they have. We can't modify these at all. No, it looks like we just kind of set them there. So can I click the button? Like, I think you have to touch the button. I don't think you can touch the end of it, can you? Like, I think the landmine's solely dependent on the red button that the guy's dancing over right now. This doesn't look safe. Huh? right, let's go click. Oh, okay, yeah, all you gotta do is touch that. So you can make it to where a vehicle would roll over those. That'd be kind of cool. So we can stick some landmines out. So this car is going to go wee and boom. You know, they don't do quite as much damage as I thought they would. Like you would almost figure that would just completely obliterate that vehicle. Huh? Let's stack up some more. 
Yeah, vehicle's doing a pretty good job of getting through. Kind of charred the front end, but that was really it. Kind of wish those were a little bit stronger. Now, another thing, of course, we have the signal flare. We didn't play with that much. Hold on, let's light that up real quick. So, basically, you can go we and light their butt on fire. Yep. Oh, yep. All right. Hold still. So, that's a thing, but I'm sure we can catch other things on fire, like structures. Can we activate the red barrel here? It's like the red barrel of sadness. Can we Can we do this? Let's just heat this up enough to blow it up. I don't... I don't like it's doing anything to this. Huh? Let's just let's just plant this here. Here, we'll, we'll just leave this here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, okay, that does work. You know, a really cool thing would be if we can get a jerry can and have some sort of fuel. Like, you wouldn't have to make the, the liquid very detailed, but make it to where you can pour gas and use gas because that would definitely be something. By the way, this, this guy is pretty charred, huh? And I feel like we should, uh, we should potentially try to save him. I kind of want to pull the chainsaw back out, but... Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, oh. Well, he's about out now. I don't think it really matters if we try to save him or not. I guess we better do the good thing here. There we go. So, do you think we could save him with the defib? I don't know, I'm so addicted to using the defib, like, I, I feel like I need to try this again. Hey, defibrillator's pulled back out. All right, let's go ahead and charge. I think it says you only have to have one paddle on it. Uh, yeah, hold one of the paddles. Uh, let's do this again, stand by. Mm, yeah, I don't think he's alive. Um, <laughs> wait, what if we overcharge the paddles? <laughs> Is that a thing we can do? Please tell me we can overcharge these. I feel like it's going to make the whole device electrified and probably just fry the person. Here, let's just do a normal generator. Let's let's do that. So let's go. Whoop. Okay, that's on. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I thought was going to happen. It just makes it to where the paddles are already electrified and it just... Uh, we're cooking the person right now. Uh, we can we can pull those off. Uh, I don't think there's any bringing this person back. I mean, we could give him a life syringe. Uh, maybe that's what we should do here. You know, we're going to end this on a positive note since we're getting close to Christmas. So we're going to go ahead and just bring this person back to life. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that did not work. Three, two, one. There we go. All right, he's back. All right, so definitely go check out the new update. A lot of cool stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Yep, I had to do it. You know I couldn't resist that.